symposium represents a unique convergence of minds bringing together leading researchers, practitioners and innovators from around the globe to discuss, debate and shape the future of semiconductor technology. Today, as we gather here, we stand on the threshold of transformative change in the field of semiconductors. The rapid advancement in this area are not only driving progress in technology, but are also playing a pivotal role in addressing some of the most pressing challenges facing our world. From enabling the next generation of electronic devices to advancing renewable energy solutions and beyond the impact of semiconductor materials and devices profound and far-reaching. Our symposium over the next few days will cover a broad spectrum of topics ranging from novel material and fabrication techniques to the cutting edge device application and emerging trends. We are privileged to have an exceptional line of speakers and presenters who will share their insight and groundbreaking research with us. Their contributions will undoubtedly inspire new ideas and foster collaborations that will propel our field forward. The importance of collaborative effort in our field cannot be overstated. The complexities of semiconductor science requires a multidisciplinary approach and it's through the exchange of ideas and expertise that we can achieve the breakthroughs needed to address both current and future challenges. This symposium is designed to facilitate such exchange. And I encourage all of you to have, engage actively, ask questions, and connect with fellow participants. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our sponsors, organizing committee, and all those who have worked tirelessly to make this event possible. Your dedication and support are invaluable and greatly appreciated. As we embark on this journey, over the coming days, let's remain committed to the pursuit of knowledge, innovation, and excellence. Together, we have an opportunity to make significant strides in our field and to contribute to the advancement of technology that will shape the future. I'm sure in the uh, present uh, workshop that we have, uh, International Symposium on Semiconductor Materials and Devices, one of the very important, uh, you know, uh, activity that's going to be there uh, and I'm sure that some of the, uh, you know, uh, recommendations that will come up will definitely help us. As you know, all experts here know that due to new, uh, you know, national education policy 2020, there's great thrust on entrepreneurship and uh, startup, uh, you know, programs. Uh, JNK uh, is very much, you know, uh, having this focus on skilling our youth in different fields and uh, you know when I was going through this particular uh, program it has great potential to see how our youth can be engaged in uh, you know skill development or how we can build up their uh, capacity you know something like that so I will definitely look forward to it and uh, you know to Professor Gohar and his uh, team how this thing can be incorporated into it. Rest as we know uh, that you know uh, human progress has always been closely linked to the materials at our disposal from the simple use of stone and wood to more complex applications of metal alloys materials have been integral in moving humanity forward so we know the importance of uh, you know uh, material sciences very much uh, and uh, as the global demand for energy uh, continues to grow the search for sustainable solutions has become increasingly urgent material sciences particularly the study of semiconductors is expected to play a pivotal role in addressing uh, these challenges and I'm sure these types of workshops definitely are very uh, you know useful for it. Uh, the impact of material sciences extends to the very infrastructure of modern society. The internet, CCTV systems and remote communications all rely on materials that have been carefully modified and tailored to meet specific needs. Semiconductor materials in particular are crucial for the functioning of these uh, technologies and uh, the initiatives that the material sciences take uh, not only promise 
to boost our economy but also provide a significant thrust towards realizing the vision of an uh, Atmanirbhar Bharat, the establishment of semiconductor plants in India will catalyze innovation across various sectors. This is what I was uh, referring to and I do look forward to our Department of Physics for this. From electronics to automotive and enable us to compete on a global scale with, the, with other technology giants as we gather to discuss and share insights on the latest advance, advancements in semiconductor materials and devices, it is imperative that we also focus on building a robust ecosystem that supports research, development and manufacturing. Our collective efforts will not only pave the way for technological breakthroughs, but also ensure that India emerges as a key player in the global semiconductor landscape. The study of materials, particularly semiconductor materials, is at the core of nearly every modern advancement, from the earliest human innovations to the cutting-edge technologies of today. Materials have been the driving force behind our progress as we continue to explore new frontiers, both on Earth and beyond. The importance of material sciences will only continue to grow whether addressing the challenges of energy sustainability, advancing medical treatment, or powering the next generation of technologies. The future will undoubtedly be shaped by the materials we develop and study uh, today. I will definitely look forward. We have uh, so many of our uh, you know, experts from other uh, parts of our country and very important institutes they are uh, representing. I will definitely look if University of Kashmir and these, uh, you know, uh, universities, institutes and centers can have some MOU or any exchange program. If we can look possibly for the internship of our students, if their students come, can come here, our students can go there. I would love if our students visit IIT Bhuvneshwar and so many other institutes must be there because these types of programs give us an opportunity to have connectivity, to have collaboration, see what other institutes are doing, what our institute are, is doing. And, you know, wherever we see the good practices, we should definitely adopt them. If you look at the, you know, advancements in the field of semiconductors and innovations that are happening, and their importance for, you know, placing India as a, you know, global leader in innovations, our national and international commitments that we have, our national aspirations, I think the role of semiconductors is very, very important. Whether it is to make India as a visit by 2047, I think we can't think of without the innovations and advancements in the field of semiconductors. When it comes to our international commitment to be carbon neutral by 2070, we know what is the role of semiconductors in renewable energy, in electrical vehicles. Now, traditionally, we had you know silicon-based semiconductors. Now, if you look at you know today's advancements and innovations, if we look at the you know the use and application of gallium nitride or silicon carbide, I think almost in every it is not only in the renewable energy in you know, power sector, in, you know as I said in electric vehicles their role and their importance is very important. We talk about the you know artificial intelligence and machine learning. And we, if you look at the GDP of uh, you know our country, and we look at the contribution of the manufacturing to, towards our GDP, you know, and when you compare it to the major economies of the world, China and all that, we are wanting, you know, I think it is very important that we need to basically modernize our manufacturing processes, and then the role of semiconductors is very important, you know. Even in designing and in fabrication processes, it is very important. Or if we look at the role of you know the uh, semiconductors in the other technologies, 5G and all that, you know, it is very important for us that you know we, as the particularly the, the young you know and bright uh, participants, research scholars, for whom this you know uh, symposium has been organized, 
So you are the main beneficiaries. The latest advancements and trends that are happening in the field of semiconductors is very important that you get, you know, basically updated about the latest in this field so that you can use this for promoting your own research, for promoting research in the universities and in the research institutes. I think with these, you know, I think we have participants who have come from different destinations all across the country. I again welcome you and I hope this will be an opportunity for all of us to basically exchange our ideas, exchange knowledge and also it will act as a forum for networking and collaborations between different you know, institutions as well as uh, that's always the main objective of the conferences, workshops is networking. As we all know, uh, there are three uh, skills that are important to uh, make a good career, professional career, communication, collaboration and critical thinking. I think the workshop provides an excellent opportunity to demonstrate as well as develop these three skills, particularly in the area of semiconductor devices. I am sure many of you would have attended uh, another conference which is held uh, every two years that is International Workshop on Physics of Semiconductor Devices. Uh, this has been going on for many years and some years ago we have started this additional workshop which is also held uh, once in two years. So alternate years we have IW, PhD and uh, this particular workshop. And <clears throat> for both these workshops, Solid State Physics Lab and particularly the director of that particular laboratory has been uh, and other scientists who are also here have been playing a major role in the organization and running of the workshop. So I thank the organizers for uh, inviting me here and allowing me to uh, present my ideas to the audience. The Kashmir University is, we know that it is one of the reputed institutions in the country. Very recently we have the NIR, we, we got the NIRF ranks and we are covering at the top. We are A plus graded university. We are due for NAC for which the all the most of the process have already been done and we are sure that in the next two months we pray to Almighty that we should jump from A plus to A plus plus. As far as the University of Kashmir is concerned this year we conducted, I would say that there are many departments, many centers, we conducted more than 25 national and international conferences. So today we are having this one more international conference which is not new for us because we are now having a, a usual that procedure of conducting all these important meetings. In fact, I must tell you that uh, in the last couple of months, uh, so many important departments have conducted very important conferences where the government of India and as well as the government of United Territory of Jammu and Kashmir has been one of the important partner of those conferences. I will not go to the details of the University of Kashmir because we are all the alumni of this university and I feel proud to be the alumni of the Department of Physics because when we were taught we had very reputed teachers and I am sure that the procedure, the process is continuously repeating. I am sure that in these three days of international conference we will have a lot of technical sessions, a lot of discussions, a lot of collaborations have to happen. That is always the output of the conference. One of the important output of the conference is that you meet people uh, from different areas and then share your research interests and then that is how you build your research collaboration. As far as the funding of these uh, projects, we have different projects in the department. Just two days back we appeared for the first presentation in front of the DST team and they were very happy to know that the Kashmir University, the Kashmir University's Department of Physics as well have a very high reputed projects. We are in a process of starting a very important facility in the Gulmarg in the form of installing an optical telescope. Uh, the base work has already been done but due to some technical issues it could not 
made the deadline, but under the continuously efforts and the directions of our Honorable Vice Chancellor, I think our department is committed to do it. And very soon, inshallah, in a couple of months only, we will have the commitment of having that optical observation facility in the Gulmarg. As far as the research collaborations, I will not again go because, because it always touches my heart. That's why I touch it. Uh, we have very national and international collaborations in the department. The Indian Institute of Astrophysics and the Baba Atomic Research Center have already started the Gamma Ray Telescope, MIS, in uh, Hanli, Ladakh. And I am happy to inform my Honorable Vice Chancellor here, as well as all the people here sitting in the audience, that the Kashmir University Department of Physics will be one of the important collaborators of that MIS telescope. So we are trying to do our best. Uh, we have a very committed students. We have a very good record of the students getting good placements. I would just mention that very recently, the Public Service Commission released a list for the appointment of assistant professors in higher education department. And we all, along with our uh, head of the department, we were very pleased to see more than 10 of our students figuring in the list of the higher education department for the appointment of assistant professors. Our students have been doing very well. Uh, most of them are working in different institutes, colleges. Even many of them are uh, having good postdocs, not only at the national level, but also at the international level. I'm sure that you will enjoy the, not only the beauty of the Kashmir, not only the weather of the Kashmir, but you will enjoy the very fruitful discussion during all these three days.